We are targeting all of our major muscle groups in this 30 minute, no repeat workout. The structure for this workout today is going to build three things, muscular strength, muscular endurance, and muscular definition. We're gonna need our light, medium, and heavy dumbbells. So grab those and let's do this. We are gonna get right into our warm up. Before we do, if you've got your booty band or mini resistance band and you wanna use that today for a little extra oomph, have that out and have that ready. It's optional though, so you do not need it. And I promise you will still feel the burn on this one. So we're gonna get into the warm up. As we go through the warm up, I'll explain the structure a little bit more about the weights we're gonna use and then why this is such an awesome way to train today. So with that arms across, just opening and closing here, we are gonna use some lighter dumbbells for our warm up for the last couple of exercises today. So we'll have those ready as well. Quad pulls next. Let's do three, two, and one. So from here, taking one heel up to your bum, feeling a nice stretch through the front of your leg and holding it for just a second, just to start getting those muscles warm and ready. Structure for today, we have got eight, rounds. We are going to be working the upper body and the lower body in those three rounds, three exercises. So we're kind of doing a little take on the 6, 12, 25 method, which is an awesome way to build strength, uh, definition and endurance, all three at the same time. Last one here, and then we're going to take it into a low sumo. So taking those legs out, lowering it down, holding it here, taking those elbows, pressing open here to open up through the hips and the inner thighs, keeping that bum low and just rocking it side to side. So for today's workout, that first exercise is gonna be 30 seconds. And again, this is no repeat. So we are gonna focus very heavy on that first round, work for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna move on to 45 seconds. That's where we're gonna really focus in on that definition. So we're gonna work a little bit longer, but wait a little bit lighter. From here, take those hands up and just drop your shoulders one and then the other. And then that last round is gonna be focused on that endurance. So we're gonna work for 60 seconds, dropping the weight a little bit more if you need. So that's where that lighter weight is gonna come into play. It's gonna be tough, but we're gonna do it. And we're gonna have 15 seconds in between each exercise. And then after we finish the round, that's gonna be those three exercises. We'll get 30 seconds to rest. Last one here, and then we're gonna go ahead and grab our weights. So just some lighter weights here to start getting that upper body warm. We're gonna start with a shoulder press. So arms up and let's press. Just a few reps here. Right now, this is the time where you wanna start bringing your focus into our training today. So if you showed up, let's focus, let's make it count. Just 30 minutes. I know we got other things going on, but you made the time today. So we're gonna make it count and I promise this structure today is going to make you feel so awesome, so strong by the end. And then to build that mus muscular definition and strength, plus endurance all in one, oh, it's a threefer. Last one here. Now we're gonna go into a squat to Romanian deadlift. So legs apart, dumbbells up. We're gonna squat it down nice and slow. As you come up, switch that grip down. And then back to the squat. And then down. Just a couple reps here, and then we'll get ready for round one. So each round is gonna kind of have its own focus for the muscle group. You'll take note of that as we go through though, you'll, you'll kind of catch, catch on for that. So that first round, it's gonna be all about the shoulders. Last one here, RDL, and then we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna go into a shoulder press, a front raise, and then a 90 degree lateral raise with three pulse. So make sure you got all your weights ready to go. Grab those and let's do this. All right, so starting heavy for this shoulder press. Ooh, bringing the weights up. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go. And remember, only 30 seconds. So take your time in each rep, but really focus all the way down, all the way up. Good. Ooh. Over halfway. So in between 15 seconds is gonna fly by. So all we're gonna do is adjust weight and get ready for our next exercise. Here it is, three, two, and a one. All right, adjust your weight for that front raise. One dumbbell, 
or you can use two. If you're using two, lead up with the thumbs, shoulders rolled down and back, and here we go. Front raise, 45 on this time. Good, keep working through this. I just realized I can go a little bit heavier and with no repeat, just stay focused so you don't cheat yourself. So if you need to take a few seconds to adjust your weight up or down, make sure to do that. Heads up for the workout today. <laughs> and with this front raise, no swinging, just lifting up parallel to the ground, use those shoulders to lift. Almost there. This is where we're gonna start to work that endurance. And with endurance, we're gonna do that lateral raise. Last one. Awesome, here we are. So, a lateral raise, arms at 90 degrees, and we're gonna pulse it up for three, and then back down to that starting position. Going in three, two, and a one. Here we go. Lift it up for three, two, and a one. And then we're gonna come back down and lift it up here. Leading with those elbows. Now this is where we get that endurance because we've got 60 seconds to work. Plus, changing the tempo a little bit in this. And you know when we do that, that keeps that muscle under tension longer. So increasing that intensity as well. Whew. Over halfway. Now make sure those pulses are pretty smooth. We're not being jerky, but you are controlling it up a couple inches and then down. Almost there. Oh, shoulders. All right, here it is. Three, two, and a one. Amazing. All right, moving on to the back now. We're gonna go into a bent over row, so this is Heavy, this is only 30 seconds of work, so max it out on that. Then we're gonna do a double renegade row down on the mat. Didn't mention, we are gonna be working the core today throughout this training session. And finally, we're gonna finish with a double tricep extension on our knees. So grab your weights for that row, that heavy weight. 30 seconds on here in three, two, and let's row. Take your time, hold it at the top. And exhale as you squeeze. Think about bringing those shoulder blades around your spine. When we are lifting heavy, that pace is pretty slow. So try not to rush through it. Here it is. Three, two, and one. Weights down, bringing it to the mat. Four, Ooh, we need a matching dumbbell. Actually, I'm gonna use one for this. Double renegade row. So, legs out and here we go. Double row and then switch. Now you can keep your hands on the dumbbells if you'd like, or you can swap it out each time. You can also take a modification on the knees, which you may find me doing because as my belly grows, the core strength dissipates a little bit. Keep that arm squeezed around that shoulder blade. Almost there. Here it is. Three, two, and a one. All right, kneeling, double tricep kick back. So we're working the back of the arm, but I still want you to think about squeezing that back as you lift. So kneeling position, take it up, kick it back twice and squeeze and down. Lift it up, squeeze. Take your time, hold it at the top and down. Now keeping a nice long spine here. Neck neutral. Woo. Woo. 
Less than 20. And after this, we are moving on to round three. Here it comes, three, two, and one. All right, we have got chest. Last, nope, not actually not the last upper body exercise. We're gonna have one more round of upper body, but we are working chest now. So we're gonna do chest press, heavy, heavy, then narrow push up, knees or toes, finally pull over with hips up. So grab your weights for chest press again, heavy here. And bringing it down, rolling it, rolling it on that back and 30 seconds. Here we go. Press it up. Oof. All the way down, all the way up. Make sure you're getting that full range of motion. And when I say all the way up, that's where you think about that armpit egg. Try to crack that egg under your arm right here. Full extension, tighten up those chest muscles. Whew. Almost there. Here it is, three, two, one. Oh, amazing. All right, flipping it over. Narrow push-up. Knees or toes for this one, but palms in nice and close. Arms stay close to your body as you lower. And here we go. Now, whether you are on your knees or your toes, you are squeezing the legs, squeezing the glutes, keeping everything nice and tight. Pushing through, keeping the weight here on the outside edge of your, the lower part of your hand. So you don't wanna keep it on your fingers or towards your thumb, cause that's gonna put extra pressure on your wrist. Breathing almost there. Here it is, three, two, and one. All right, moving on, hips up, pull over. So again, working a little bit lighter because this is our endurance round. One or two dumbbells, bring it down. Modification, keep your hips down. And let's begin. Working at a moderate tempo here. So when we say a moderate tempo, we wanna keep moving. About two down and two up. And exhale as you squeeze back up, stopping those arms about perpendicular to the floor. So not pulling too far towards your belly button. Make sure to stop those dumbbells. Keep that contraction and go right back into it. Squeeze the glutes, lift those hips. Almost there. Keep it strong, we got it. Here it is, three, two, and one. Oh, nice job, all right. Moving on, we're gonna bring it to stand. And now we are hitting You've seen, we've hit pretty much every muscle group here, except for the biceps. So we're gonna move on to biceps. That heavy exercise, bicep curl, endurance, or uh, muscular definition, hammer, and then endurance cross body curls. So grab your weights, those heavy weights for bicep curls. We got 30 on here in three, two, and one all the way down, squeeze all the way up. Good, and you will know that you are going heavy enough because it will be hard to speak with this heavy weight. <laughs> Kinda like that. <sighs> Here it is, three, two, <laughs> and one. <sighs> I love hitting failure. All right, hammer curls now. Grab those weights, 45 on, and let's go. <sighs> Squeeze it up. What do you think about 
this style of training. Now we kind of have our own twist on the 612-25 method because we are using time as opposed to reps. That rep, the 612-25, that is numbers of reps. So that's what the method is based on. But I love this style and I'll tell you what, you can get so much in, in 30 minutes with this type of training. And then to really work those muscles in all those ways, so good. Almost there. Then that endurance. Here it is, three, two, one. All right, cross body curls. You may or may not want to adjust your weight on this one because we are gonna be alternating sides. So cross body curls here in three, two, and let's go. With biceps, I always like to start a little bit heavier, and then if I have to go down, do that. Because really with biceps, you'll find you can eke out a few more reps than you thought possible. And that's the goal, is to always try to lift a little bit more total weight than you did before. That's how we get stronger. That's how we change. Those are those baby steps that lead to, oh, those goals we want. Ooh, okay, almost there. And remember, this is the last upper body. We are moving on to lower body after this in three, two, and one. Ooh. Amazing, all right, lower body time. We have got Romanian deadlift, then into a sumo deadlift, followed by a wall sit with calf raise. So find your wall. Right now, heavy for that RDL. Grabbing our weight, getting ready. We've got three, two, and a one. Here we go. So bring it down nice and slow. Remember, this is heavy, so take your time. Squeeze. Whew. Back nice and long, spine long. Contract those hams, contract the glutes, and squeeze. So the voice starts to go with the contraction, you see. Almost there. This is it. Three, two, and a one. All right. Sumo. Deadlift now. Now I'm going down to one weight, so I'm actually gonna go up, but because I'm using one, it'll be a little less than I did for that RDL. Legs out, toes out. We start down, and here we go. So with this, with a deadlift compared to a Romanian deadlift, the deadlift, we've got a bend in the knee and a hinge at the hips. So drive the hips back, bend the knees, back flat, core engaged, Push that floor away and squeeze. Weight still staying very close to your center of gravity. Just coming straight down. Almost there. No weights next, but we're gonna find that wall. Here it is. Three, two, and one. Well. We gotta, we gotta mess away down here today. All right, finding that wall, bringing it down, sinking it low, and we're gonna calf raise. So lift it up and down. Up on the toes, hold it for a second. Well, how about about three seconds and then down. So we'll hold it up for one, two, three, and then lower it. So this is endurance, so you can feel those muscles start to burn. With that endurance comes that lactic acid buildup. So if you feel that burn, that's just that lactic acid coming into play. With strength, when we're lifting super heavy, we don't always feel that like we might here. But that's because those are working different ways of the, or different muscle groups. So we have two types of muscle fibers. So working those differently, so we feel that differently. And the way that our body reacts to that, that's where the lactic acid comes in. Almost there. 
So don't ever think if you don't feel the burn that you are not doing something right, especially when we're going heavy. That was my point in all that. Last three, two, and one. Whew. All right, moving on. Round number six, keeping it in the lower body. We have got squat, heavy, heavy, heavy. Then curtsy lunge, I'm gonna have a modification. This is the modification where if you wanna use the band, you can do that. Modification will be a squat to lateral lift. And then that endurance exercise will be stationary lunge on the right, then on the left, or you'll have a modification for that. So get in your heavy weights for squat. Let's grab them. 30 is coming up. Here it is, three, two, and one. Squat it down, nice and slow, because remember, this is heavy. Almost there. Here it is. Three, two, and a one. All right, moving on to curtsy lunge or that modification is the squat. Oh, God, where's my 20 pounds? I'm getting confused. All right, or that modification squat to lateral lift. And here we go. So I love the curtsy lunge here because we are getting the thighs working a little bit more than just staying in that one plane of motion. So we've got this diagonal step back. Good. And even with that squat to lateral leg lift, with that leg coming out to the side, working that outer thigh a little bit more. Now this next one, a little bit different because we're gonna do 60 on the right, 60 on the left. Last three, two, and a one. Oh, there it is. Okay, now stationary lunge or your mod, low rear leg lift. Go in here in three, in two, and a one. So weight's a lot lighter. You could even do this body weight. Wherever you're at for today's workout, that's where you lift. Don't forget that for any of our workouts coming up, I'll always encourage you to go heavy, but sometimes heavy looks different depending on the day. So don't let that discourage you. I got my ups, I got my downs. We all do. But, it's consistency that's gonna make the difference. It's that day when you're like, I do not want to be here and you show up anyways. That is where those biggest strides will come in. Oh, almost there. And then we switch. Here it is, three, two, and one. Okay, other side. So same thing if you've got that mod, Low, 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 rear leg lift. And three, two, and let's go. Whoa. Good, keeping that good form and trying to keep a consistent up and down with your lunge. So taking it down as low as you can. That's why I like to tap my knee on the ground so I know I'm hitting my low point every time and then all the way back up. Shoulders are rolled back and relaxed. I know, especially with this second set here, even though it's on the other side, heart rate is up, we're out of breath and it is getting tough. Well, it's not getting tough. <laughs> it's getting tougher. How about that? It's already been tough. Breathing almost there. 30 seconds has never sounded so good in three, two, and one. Okay, awesome. Now this is the round where if you got it, maybe you were already using it for those mods, but if not, band on the whole time. This is the glutey round. So we are gonna go into a narrow glute bridge. First, you can keep that band on because you know things move quick with that 15 seconds. 
one or two dumbbells for our narrow position. Again, going heavy. All right, we need to, <laughs> I cannot believe how many weights I have out here right now. All right, rolling it back, narrow position. That means pin those legs together and let's lift. Here we go, squeeze, tighten up the glutes and down. Squeeze and hold. Now, as you lift, keep that back flat. You don't need to drive those hips up so high that your back starts arching. We do not want that. That is gonna cause some back discomfort. So even though I'm saying drive the hips up, you still need to keep a flat back. We're gonna switch it up next. Long lever glute bridge in three, two, and one. Okay, taking it long lever. That means legs out, wider stance here. And let's begin. Lift, squeeze, and lower. Ooh. Long lever puts a little bit more work into the back of the legs. The quadricep muscles. Still working the glutes though. Still focused on driving the hips up while keeping the back flat. And of course you can see with this long lever position, we don't quite get as much lift. We're not quite as high as we are in that normal glute bridge. Good, lift, squeeze. We're gonna flip it over for fire hydrant on one side and then on the other next. Almost there. Here it is, three, two, and one. No dumbbells, but keep that band on if you want a little added resistance. Flipping it over for fire hydrant, you can be um, on your hands or down on your forearms. Going here in three, two, and one. Here we go, fire hydrant lift and lower. Now, if you are using the rubber band, it does not like to stay in place as much as the fabric band does. So I like to put mine under the knee that is stationary. So if you find yours is having a free for all, <laughs> you can do that. <sighs> Keeping that back nice and long. We still think about our posture. Even if we're not standing, we can still have bad posture down here by rounding the shoulders. The neck is just going wherever it wants. So keep everything nice and neutral. And we're gonna get ready to switch it over to that other side next. And then we will have one round left. Almost there, here it is, three, two, and a one. Oh, we can press it back for just a second and then we're gonna go right into that other side. So adjust your band if you're using that. <sighs> Taking that band under the knee. Let's go in three. Here's two and one. We lift, squeeze. <sighs> Squeezing that belly button in towards your spine. And exhale as you lift. Oh my, almost there. All right, last one. This is three, two, and a one. Oh, all right, so if you want to leave the band on, you can for this next exercise. We're going into a goblet squat. So optional if you want to leave it on, not necessary. The glute round was really the important round for that, but we're going heavy for goblet squat. So starting back, only 30 seconds. So grab that heavy weight, bring it up, five out. Here's three two, and a one. So goblet squat down Ooh, and press. Elbows tucked in. Now this last round is gonna take a lot. So stay focused and push and know that you are so close, but the legs 
are worn at this point. They are feeling it. Sumo squat is next. Last three, two, and a one. All right. So no band for this one because, uh, I don't know, sumo squat with a booty band is not going to work very well. Sumo squat, where are we grabbing our weights? I don't know what's harder today, trying to decide what weight I want to use <laughs> or the workout itself. Sumo squat, 45. Here we go. Down and then squeeze. So back with sumo again. This is that definition builder. So we are working the thighs, the glutes, the hams, the quads, all of it working right now to build those lean legs. So stay focused as you're lifting. It helps to think about the outcome when we are working out sometimes. Sometimes it feels good to just get in there, get the stress out with the weights. And then some days you're like, why am I here? Let me remind myself. So if you need to take a second and remind yourself, this is gonna be it. Our final minute of work in three, two, and a one. Okay, last exercise is a narrow squat with a three pulse. So we are going light on this one. So grab those weights, suitcase squat means those dumbbells hang right here. Don't over grip your weights, just let them hang in those fingers. So pulse it down for three. Here we go in three, two, and one. oops, sorry, narrow. That means feet come in. <laughs> Here we go, pulse it down. Three, two, and one. Up, press through those heels. This one you gotta focus on form, keep that chest up. And up. Good. Again, with a more narrow position, thighs work in a different way. So we are working those thighs. You're also gonna feel in the quads a little bit more. Oh, you are the bomb. Did I mention that? I don't think I mentioned at the beginning how tough today was going to be, but you showed up and you kicked butt like nobody's business. You are the absolute bomb. Almost there. All right, let's make this the last three, two, and one, amazing. Hey, I got one final challenge that I want you to go for. It is our abs finisher. Grab that, because although we were working the core, I want you to take some direct action. Yeah, on the abs today. So go grab the abs finisher. You are the bomb, I love you. You are stronger than ever. Go kick butt, go be awesome.